All right, everybody. Welcome to New Media Patriot Radio, the show about you, the concerned citizen, the silent majority, the politically incorrect, the social media patriot fighting every single day to restore American values and exceptionalism. You can follow me on Twitter at the Patriot 143 or on our show Twitter, NMP Radio. It stands for New Media Patriot Radio. Also, visit our website, NewMediaPatriotRadio.com. And if you want to be on a show and want to get your voice heard, and uh, or if you want to be a political blogger for my website, simply email us at NewMediaPatriot at gmail.com. Uh, I'm your host, Chris. Welcome to the Silent Majority here on a Friday evening special. Um, it's almost like ladies' night. I mean, everybody that I have coming on, uh, they're all ladies, and uh, I guess I'm lucky. But... Uh, it's going to be fun today. We're going to be we're going to be uh, touching on the Democratic debate and what went on last night. And uh, as I said, I was going to watch it, but I decided to go on living my life, and uh, I missed it. <laughs> but I co- I've, I've I've seen a couple of videos on it, and I seen of uh, I read a couple of articles, and uh, the people that I have coming on today, they actually. Uh, Put themselves through that torture and watch the debate, the Democratic debate last night, which is why I want to have them on. Um, before I go any further, I just got to do a little house cleaning here. Um, I need. A, I want. First of all, I want to thank everybody from uh, you know last night's show was awesome. Um, I asked. I asked my uh, my listeners to follow me on Spreaker. If you go to uh, Spreaker.com, S P R E A K K E R dot com, and you type in, you search for New Media Patriot Radio. Please give me a follow. I'm trying to reach a thousand followers there so I can get featured on iHeartRadio. And uh, the best part about iHeartRadio is it's one of the, 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 the biggest platforms out there for music and for uh, political talk shows and podcasts and stuff like that. And it, w- it would be great to get our message uh, you know, heard on that platform. So if you can please, at this moment, if you're listening, you can either download the app uh, uh, in the Android store or the app store, download the app there and, uh, follow me on Spreaker, please. I would, I would, uh, I would really appreciate it. It would get our message, uh, you know, heard on, uh, iHeartRadio. Also, you can also chat with us directly on that platform. Uh, if you go to the chat box, you can chat with us during the show and uh, we'll try to answer any questions you have. But again, welcome to the silent majority. My name is Chris. I'm your host and the number to call is 347-338-1717. Seven five. So, uh, before we get to the uh, to, to to debate stuff, and before I introduce my co-hosts for the evening, um, I also want to let everybody know that uh, at seven forty-five, I'm going to have uh, uh, Wendy uh, Long. She's uh, running for Senate. She's running against Chucky Schumer here in New York City, um, and she's going to be coming on at seven forty-five and uh, tell her tell us her story and why she is running for Senate. Um, and she's a big Trump supporter too, so it should be fun. And uh, again, listen, if you're if you're a cruise crew and you want to call in, we don't bite. You know what I mean? We have to start. I mentioned this last night. We have to start, um, uh, you know, fighting this together because ultimately, as you saw from last night's debate, um, we got to beat those guys. They're terrible. Um, and also today, by the way, I don't know if you guys, you guys saw my Twitter, um, but I received my my uh, pre New York City primary uh, Donald Trump regalia. And uh, I have a T-shirt. I have a, a couple of hats that I purchased. Um, I also uh, I also got a couple of signs. Uh, my my neighbors should find interesting. I live on a pretty liberal block, block here, so uh, <laughs> it should be interesting to see their faces when they see the sign. Or maybe I might discover that they're also they also support Donald Trump because I really don't talk about politics with them, to be honest with you. Um, but anyway, without any further ado, I want to welcome at this time uh, my co-host for the evening. I want to welcome in Katja Lee. And Christina Layla, welcome to the Silent Majority, ladies. Hi, Chris. Hey, Chris. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, can you hear me? Yes, you sound great. So, uh, Christina, it's, it, yeah, Christina is, uh, yeah. if you guys don't know, Christina's uh, usually on my show and we're, we're talking about Muslim stuff and she's like my Muslim, my Muslim is Islamic radical expert. Um, if, if you visit her Twitter account, Christina Layla one, uh, you will see all her rants there about, uh, r- radical Islam. And again, we don't, we're not saying all Muslims are terrible, but, uh, most Muslims are terrorists. <laughs> it seems like so, uh, <laughs> but anyway, Christina, how you been? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me back, Chris. How are you? I, it's been a while. Yes, I'm great. I, did you see? Did you see my photo with my uh, with my Trump regalia? 
I'm actually wearing it right I now. I did, and I left a nice comp. <laughs> I did. I saw that, and then I saw a picture of uh, my wife, you and Alicia. <laughs> yeah. It looks really cute. Yeah. Uh, Awesome, awesome. <laughs> and Katya, welcome back to the Silent Majority, my co-host. How are you? Doing well. Thanks, Chris. Awesome. How you doing, Christina? I love your tweets. You're so incredible. You're, you've educated me in so many ways and so many others about what's going on, and I want you to know how much I personally appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's really nice to chat with you here today. I guess I'll leave you girls alone. Find your account and follow you. I guess I'll leave you girls, you ladies alone. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <laughs> let's get going here. You know, uh, last night, as I mentioned, I, I was going to watch the Democratic debate, but I decided to go on living my life. But anyway, um, it was it was held for the first time, uh, prime time, and on a weeknight, unlike most Democratic debates, the CNN sponsored, sponsored event was the highest profile opportunity for both campaigns to make their final arguments before Tuesday's crucial vote uh, in a state where both contenders have strong roots. Uh, Clinton is looking uh, looking to New York to uh, solidify her role as a front runner, while a strong showing or a victory for Sanders would deal a significant blow to Hillary's confidence and bolster uh, Sanders' confidence uh, uh, going forward. Um, so as I mentioned, I didn't watch it, so I'm depending on you ladies to tell me. Um, what did you take from uh from the deb- like what did you take what, what was what was your take uh, uh regarding the debate uh christina well i barely made it through chris i mean it was torture to watch mm-hmm. okay <laughs> these two i call them communist clown mm-hmm. it's basically just like i saw carmine on his Twitter account saying it was an infomercial for for uh vote like bribing people you know for votes mm-hmm. and uh, again it was just softballs they're throwing softballs to these two and uh, they didn't even really get to the real issues. You know, they brought up NATO, didn't bring up the fact that Turkey is in NATO. They brought up, uh, they, they didn't even talk about uh, the uh, Muslim invasion. They were trying to talk about foreign policy. It was just, uh, it was such a waste of time. But I uh, promised the, my followers I was going to live tweet. So. Right. And, uh, and I mean, that, according to what I've read, there, there were there were a couple of, um there were a couple of uh, interesting statements uh, during the uh, the debate there, uh, Kacha. One in particular, uh, where Sanders mocks Clinton's comment on calling calling out the big banks. He says, "Oh my goodness, I'm going to do my best my, my best Bernie Sanders impression." Ready? Oh my, let me see. Let me see. I practiced this before the show, so it goes like this. <laughs> oh my goodness, they must have really cr- they must have really been crushed by this. What was <laughs> was that before or after you received the sums of money by giving uh, by by uh, giving speaking engagements? That's my best. Bernie. Give me, you know, you gotta cut me a break because uh, I've been, you know I've been practicing for maybe ten minutes before the show. But anyway, that was a pretty interesting line, and uh, it really got it re- apparently it really got a rise out of the uh, the audience there, Katja. Uh, Katja, did you watch the debate? Because I know Christina did. I actually I just watched a little bit. Um, it was very painful. Actually, I felt ill, and I, I think I, I I actually had an out of body experience <laughs> because what I'm watching is who can give away the most stuff for free, <clears throat> who's more of a communist, and I say that because it's completely ridiculous the stuff that they're saying, and and Hillary Clinton is a complete joke. You know, she's up there, you know, and I'm not a Bernie Sanders fan, and you've heard that Mr. Trump talk about that, but, man, he has her. She is, like, so bought and paid for. She has an albatross of Goldman Sachs around her neck. Right. She wears it proud, mm-hmm. and uh, she she's bought and paid for completely an insider. She tried to say, oh, I'm not part of the establishment. Did you hear that, Christina, yes. when she tried to sell that to the folks? Oh, yeah. It's, it's completely a joke, and... Um, most of the Bernie Sanders fans that were there were laughing at her and mocking her. It was actually quite delicious. That part was at right. least. You know, let's let's talk about the let's talk about the one major issue there during the debate was Hillary's. Uh, you, you you spoke about the big banks and, and how she she uh, it came out today actually. Bernie releases twenty fourteen. Uh, I tweeted this out. Uh, you know, tax returns. He's he made about two hundred thousand um, dollars. And uh, it says that that he he's he made less than Hillary Clinton makes during a speaking engagement for these uh, for these Wall Street banks, uh, bankers and stuff. So 
every time I gotta I gotta give credit to CNN because apparently uh, Dana Dana Bash kept on asking Hillary the question about the transcripts. Every time they asked her the question about the transcripts, she kept deflecting. Uh, her first deflection: uh, Ber- Bernie voted for deregulation. The second deflection: uh, Where are Bernie's tax returns? And the third one: uh, Change the rules, basically stating that. Um, Basically stating that everybody, if she if she has to release her transcripts, everybody should, both on the Democratic and the Republican side. Uh, Christina, what do you think about that? Oh yeah, I mean, <laughs> she she didn't want to talk about the uh, Goldman Sachs uh, transcripts at all, and it's funny because they did hold her feet to the fire, and they kept it, you know, they kept asking her. But I mean, she's pure Wall Street. She is she is pure DC South School. She is pure Wall Street. She gives speeches for two to three hundred thousand dollars and of course she doesn't want to release the transcripts because probably you know what she's saying to these people is that i got your back you give me money you scratch my back i scratch yours i love you guys you know and she doesn't want anyone to see that because she's trying to position herself as the anti-dc outsider you can't get any more dc than the clinton machine i mean and she's trying to talk about the deregulation of wall street and we can just look at it during the clinton administration they uh, dismantled the Glass-Steagall Act, which, in my opinion and many others, was one of the catalysts to the uh, financial collapse. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, Katja? Yeah, I completely agree with you, Christina. It's just in- incredibly obscene to me <laughs> for Hillary Clinton to stand up there and to pretend like she's for the working man, that she's just for... You know, she's against the Wall Street as she takes in all of their money and puts it and launders it, as I always say, through her Clinton Foundation. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just completely ridiculous and it's disgusting to think that these voters are completely stupid. Now, maybe some of them are, but let me tell you what, the majority of people are done with it. They're done with the lies. That's why Mr. Sanders is doing so well within that party, even though he's a communist. Yeah. And, uh, you know, one of my favorite, actually, you know what, I'm going to play this clip real quick here and, uh, we're going to come back, uh, after this and I'm going to, I'm going to tell you what my other favorite, uh, uh, Bernie Sanders moment was, uh, right after this, uh, right after I play, I played the democratic highlights, uh, clip here. If you're both screaming at each other, the viewers won't be able to hear either of you. Okay. Does Secretary Clinton have the experience and the intelligence to be a president? Of course she does. But I do question her judgment. President Obama trusted my judgment enough to ask me to be Secretary of State. Do you regret your advocacy for the condo? My husband has apologized. He was the president who actually signed it. But what about about you, Secretary? Secretary Clinton called them out. Oh, my goodness. They must have been really crushed by this. About the transcripts of the speeches to Goldman Sachs. But everybody does it, okay? I will do it. Secretary Clinton, you just heard her. Everybody else does it, she'll do it. We will release our taxes. Jane does our taxes. We've been a little bit busy lately. You'll excuse us. Well, you know, there are there are a lot of copies. Senator, when are you going to release when? Unfortunately, I remain one of the poor members of the United States Senate, and that's what that will show. You know, Senator Sanders doesn't agree with how you are approaching something, then you are a member of the establishment. Interesting comment, but you didn't answer the question. I did. If that's no, the you way didn't. Yes, I did. Time. I think we're going to win this nomination. I love doing that. This is great. I don't think she should love Brooklyn. I mean, she got, I think everybody said, Every, from what I've read, everybody's everybody's saying that uh, Hillary Clinton won, but she kind of came undone. If you if you recall the other eight debates or whatever nine debates, uh, Bernie. If you think about it, Bernie was taking it easy on her, um, so to speak. You listen to the Sound of Majority. I'm your host Chris, and on the Rebooting Liberty Hotline, I have Katja Lee and Christina Layla. The number to call is three four seven three three eight one seven seven five. So. Again, my favorite Bernie Sanders line uh, came when when uh, when he asked Hillary Clinton to release the transcript, and then Hillary said, "I'll do it when everybody else does it." And Sand- Sanders says, um, "He uh, Sanders uh, when vowed to release all the transcripts that he has he has ever given behind closed doors to major Wall Street firms." 